Hi, in this video, we're going to do some calculus. We're going to find a derivative using the product rule. We have f of x equals 2x plus 1, and that whole thing is cubed, times 2x minus 1, and that whole thing is raised to the fourth power. And the question is to find f prime of x, which is the derivative of f. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So I'm going to start by writing down the product rule because it could be beneficial. And normally when you write down the product rule, you use f and g. I'm going to use different variables just because there's already an f in the problem. So I'll use h and g. So think of h as your first function and g as your second function. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So this is the rule we're going to apply in this problem. However, every time we take a derivative, we're also going to use the chain rule because it's not just like x to a power where we bring down the number and use the power rule. We also have an inside function. So we'll have to multiply by the derivative of that inside function when we take the derivative. Okay. We start by taking the derivative of the first. So we're focusing on this piece here. This is 2x plus 1 to the third power. So we're going to use uh, the chain rule here. We'll take the derivative of the outside. And we want to leave that evaluated at the inside. So leave the inside function untouched. So all we've done so far is we've brought down the 3 and we subtracted 1 from the exponent. We've essentially taken the derivative of the outside function and left the inside untouched times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of 2x is 2. The derivative of 1 is 0, so I won't write it. So all of this is our h prime. It's the derivative of the first piece times the second, 2x minus 1 to the fourth, plus the first. All right, we're not differentiating. We're just writing them down. Times the derivative of the second. So 4, bring down that 4, 2x minus 1, Subtract one from the exponent, and then times two. That little two comes from the chain rule, right? Really easy to forget about that little two there, so don't forget about the two. Before we do any factoring, let's just check our work. We took the derivative of the first, brought down the three, left the inside untouched, times the derivative of the inside, times the second, plus the first, times the derivative of the second, so bring down the four, inside untouched, subtract one, times the derivative of the inside, which is two. That little two there. All right, so let's go ahead and clean this up just a little bit before we do any factoring. So let's see here, two times three is six. Let's do that. Then we have two x plus one squared, two x minus one to the fourth. And then here we have two times four, which is eight. So you have two x plus one cubed, two x minus one cubed. Okay, so here we are. So now what we can do uh, is we can pull out um, some stuff. Uh, so I guess we can pull out a 2. That might be something we can pull out, right? Because there's a factor of 2 here and a factor of 2 here. And then what you want to do is you want to pull out the ones with the smallest exponents. So let's focus on 2x plus 1. We have a squared and a cubed. So you want to take out the one that has a squared. And then 2x minus 1. We have a 4 and a 3. You want to take out the 1 that has a 3. Bracket. So we're factoring, right? So again, pulled out the 2. Pulled out uh, 2x plus 1 squared because it's the smaller of the exponents. That always works, okay? And then we pulled out 2x minus 1 cubed, again, because it's the smaller of the exponents. Really, really important um, to use this technique. This is a very, very powerful technique. All right. So now in the process of factoring, we ask ourselves, what's missing? In other words, what do I need to put here so that when I multiply it by this, I'm going to get this? Well, I have a 2. How do I get to a 6? I need a 3. I've already got 2x plus 1 squared, so I've already got that. I need a 2x minus 1, right? Because there's a 3 here. I want to get to 4. So I need a 2x minus 1. It's really to the first power. So when you multiply these, you're going to add the exponents. 3 plus 1 is 4. But I'm not going to write it because we're going to distribute it in some, at some point. So I don't want there to be confusion plus, here's an 8, so we're missing a 4, uh, 2x plus 1 squared, here's a 2x plus 1 cubed, we're missing a 2x plus 1, right, because it's to the first power, 2x plus 1 to the first power times 2x plus 1 to the second power is 2x plus 1 to the third power, and we've already got the 2x minus 1 cubed, boom. All that's left to do now is clean this up, so f prime of x, 2, 2x plus 1, 
squared 2x minus 1 cubed. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 1 is 4. All right, everything looks good. 6x minus 3, 8x, 4. Let's clean this up. 2, 2x plus 1 squared, 2x minus 1 cubed. And then here, what do we have? 6x plus 8x, that's a 14x. And then negative 3 plus 4 is 1. And this is the correct answer. This is it. Wow, what a problem. This would be the derivative of uh, our, original, our original problem here. So hopefully you've learned some math in this video. Um, basic calculus problem, but it did require a product rule and two chain rules. So um, yeah, hopefully you've learned something. If you're not a subscriber and you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. And also, um, I have courses. Check them out on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Keep doing mathematics.